I decided to play every Call of Duty game I own. I've already done so many Call of Duty videos already, but this time I decided to play every World War II Call of Duty game I own. <laughs> but of course for today's video we are playing... Oh, hang on, the video is still going. No shit. That's right, everybody. We are going back to Call of Duty World War II for today's video. And this is the final World War II game that I have to play to end off the series of the Call of Duty World War II videos because I'm not playing Vanguard. Fuck that. And my experience on this recording was a little bit of a, oh my God, what am I doing with my life? Because the problem is, if you don't know already, I live in Australia. So it actually is quite hard to find matches if you play on console. So of course, trying to find matches with my proper connection was like near impossible. So I had to deal with the stupid one bar. Oh good, then it's not just me. And somehow try and get kills without losing my bloody mind. So that was absolutely perfect. So hopefully you guys somehow enjoyed this video because I sort of lost my mind trying to play the game because I didn't really feel like going back to campaign like what I've done on all my other videos on Blade Call of Duty. Well, besides that, everybody, let's get into the video of me somehow losing my freaking marbles. Oh boy, Call of Duty World War 2. That name definitely means something else if it's uh, real life, but yeah, Call of Duty World War 2. I can't believe this game is turning seven years old. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, take your time. Ah, oh, we're finally back. It's been that long, I've got bloody Cold War as that. Oh my god. Ooh. What's up guys, my name's Jonathan, and thank you so much for clicking on this video for today. And for today's video, we are playing Call of Duty World War 2. And I wanted to test out if you can still find a match in 2024, after seven years of this game almost being out. And just talk about a little bit with World War 2, the game, of course, and my experience on World War 2, because I didn't really play the game as much, as you can clearly see right there. But of course, I played the campaign, the zombies, and also multiplayer. But first off, let me just double check if I can play this game off on veteran difficulty. Oh yes, I love that profile picture. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where are you? Yep, I completed the campaign on November 4th, 2017. Oh my god. And the game came out... Oh, hang on, when did the game come out again? Let's look at my receipt quickly. November 3rd. So, I completed the campaign off a day after the game came out. Oh yeah, that was because the servers were shut down. Yeah, I still remember that. Then four days days later, not even a week goes by and I entered my first prestige. That's actually insane for me. Well, besides that, everybody, let's go and find a match and hopefully it's going to be A-OK. -okay. There'll be no way there'll be a match in 2024. There's absolutely no way. I mean, if there's no matches, I guess I'll just play campaign or something, I guess. Oh, yeah, they did all these orders back then. Wow. Get new contracts and everything to unlock other shit. Wow, man. I always forget of how much stuff is actually in this game and oh my god, we actually found a match on Gustav Cannon. <laughs> oh my god! Really? Gustav Cannon. I have all the freaking maps I could play. You've given me that. I know some people like the map, but I hate it. With a passion. Or well, it brings back PTSD of bloody using a sniper every two seconds. And that was the only time I ever got the Master Camos, wherever it is. I forgot what it was. <laughs> yeah, I suck. Just remember, this was back in 2017, when I was only, like, I don't know, freaking 15 years old. Well, that sounds about fucking right. One bar. That was diabolical. Wow, well, it's actually amazing being Australian. Can't even find a proper match anymore. One thing that sucks about old cards, if I want to go back to an old Call of Duty game, I have to get bloody, well, bloody destroyed by the connection bar. And my screen is so close up, I forgot how close in the FOV is. <laughs> anyway, with my experience on this game, I mean, I did enjoy it when it came out, but for a long time, it took me... It took me a long time to, well, come back to the game after they fixed a couple of the issues that I had with the game because it was too slow back then. Yeah, I just played the campaign the most. I really enjoyed playing the campaign. Then I played the zombies, and I didn't mind zombies, but I understand why people didn't really like playing it. Then the multiplayer came around, I got the snipers done. I absolutely loved playing that war mode, because I don't know why it was the best way to get the most kills in the game. So my experience of that was like, yeah, I played the game, but not as much as well, BO3. Oh my god. I do know that the events that Sledgehammer added in were really, really good. And the amount of support and love that this game actually got was insane. And no wonder why a lot of people still played this game. Because of all the content that this game had. And just by like little things that like the events that they did were actually really cool. So I'll give Sledgehammer credit for, or for supporting the game and not basically screwing everyone over. The only downside of it was back when Call of Duty had supply drops. Yeah, cost a bit of money, did it? But this was back in the day when everybody was spending a shit ton of money on supply drops, even though a lot of people did not like supply drops. 
but they were using the salvage system like Modern Warfare Remastered did. So I'll give them credit for that. But yeah, I just played a shit ton of Black Ops 3, basically. I didn't play anything else besides BO3 for like three years straight. But now it's very different. I play every COD game and go, what am I doing with my life? But <laughs> it works. <laughs> it's that guy level one. I'm going to say to all of you, have you played World War 2 before? Let me know down in the comments down below. I mean, this is the final World War 2 game that I'm going to be playing because I am not playing Vanguard. Fuck that. And I have played Call of Duty World at War, Call of Duty 2 and 3. If you guys want to check out those videos first, I have to say, yeah, this game's like, yeah. Oh. Uh, it is quite hard to say about this game because I didn't really play a lot of it. But I know some other people might have played this game a lot back then, so it might be a different story. I'm not too sure. But if I was talking about Black Ops 3, that would be a way different story. But, you know, at this rate, I'm just getting excited for Black Ops 6. How about that? Can't deal with this anymore. This was back in the day when skill based matchmaking wasn't as high and cosplay wasn't the thing. You know what? I do miss those old days. That enemy? Oh my god. As you can clearly see on the National Geographic show, what the heck is this kind of animal in Call of Duty? Like, what the fuck is this? Oh, oh. Man, what the fuck's going on, bro? I have no idea what I'm doing with my lifetime. I'm playing Call of Duty World War II on a freaking working night. <laughs> I mean, I did play Modern Warfare 3 earlier, which is somehow pretty rare for me. <laughs> oh my god, like, yeah, that's sick. Love my team. I'm on a one bar right now with the freaking worst latency you can ever think of. You know what? That's my goddamn luck, ain't it? God damn, it's so hard to learn to freaking aim. You know how you get used to that one game and go back to another game and go, what the heck am I doing with my life? That's exactly what's happening right now. Hello, anybody around here? I'm on freaking something because I'm fast as shit. It's not cocaine. Oh shit. <laughs> That's some bullshit. What the hell is that name? Oh yeah. Sometimes I do regret not playing the older COD games as much. But you know what? It's just a different time back then when you think about it. Oh. And as what we know, Black Ops 6 is around the corner, so not too long now. And I bet that game's gonna be an absolute sweat fest. Man, I love playing on this fucking map. This stuff came in my ass. I mean, most people can go back to this game and be like, I know everything. I go back to this game and go, what the heck is wrong with me? I can't aim for shit. Well, compared to that COD Fever the guy did. <laughs> Get fuck. Get f Oh. Oh. Okay, I'll call that guy later. <gasps> oh my god. I wonder what the voice actors were like when they had to do that. Okay, you just scream as loud as you can in the mic. Oh, oh that absolutely sucked. Hello, anybody here? Yeah, when everybody used to use the bloody PPSH or the STG and there's me with a bar. Come on, man, where the fuck is everybody at? Thinking about what I'm gonna be doing my spare time, bro. <laughs> Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Look at that fucking delay and a half, ain't it? Wow, nothing's happening right now. <laughs> Hello, anything? What the fuck? Yeah, it's fine. Take your time. Not like I need to do anything else. Uh, oh, you know? Hey, come on. Seriously, how are you? I tell me, though, when 29 and 15, and I was on the one bar. You know what? Okay. Ooh, supply drop. Let's have a look at what I'm going to be getting, bro, in 2024. <laughs> oh, an absolute shit thing to do. Okay, let's just say that I'm glad that we don't have supply drops anymore. Because I will be poor as shit. I've only got that many kills. I thought I had more than that. Yeah, that's definitely how much I played this game. <laughs> that's nothing, man. God damn, why do I ever leave this game? It also talking about how many people absolutely hated the multiplayer that Slave Tremor had to redo the entire multiplayer to make it better. I still can't believe they actually did that like halfway through the life cycle of the game, basically. And now it was a little bit too late at the end. If you were still playing the game after Black Ops 4 came out, I think, that wouldn't have been a problem. Yeah, no worries. But in 2024, do you really think people care anymore? Yeah. Yeah, no. You guys are level 1000? You are shitting me. Oh my god, look at the connection here, boy. All because two people are not from Australia or New Zealand. What the fuck? Does that make any sense? It's a load of bullshit. If only they had dedicated servers like PC does. Oh my god. Oh shit. I don't know what the fuck's going on anymore, but I like it a lot. Oh fuck, they at the back. <laughs> really? You can't tell me that no one's moving around this map. Oh man. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, fuck that lobby. I also forgot to say as well was I cannot believe that they never brought back the headquarters in Call of Duty. Because when this game came out, this was absolutely insane. Because this was from Destiny 2 when Bungie was with Activision at the time. But god damn, everything that you can do on this bloody headquarters was so good, man. Okay, can you say no to the quartermaster, your mail, your firing range over there. This is where you go to prestige as well. Hey, look at it, man. It's absolutely insane for a game like this back in 2017. And man, I don't know why we have never got this ever again. Make sure we had this for BO6, that would have been absolutely amazing. But no, they do one good thing in one game and never do it for the other. It happens all the time. Especially with all the bloody events that happen around here. It was absolutely insane. And the old one when you used to go up there to get the ball. Good old days, man. Okay, let's see if we can find one more match before I end this video off of a bang. At this rate, I wouldn't be surprised if we can't even find a match on a clear four bar. It absolutely sucks. Ooh.
Ooh. I don't mind this map at all. Wolf Street World War 2 is best experience with a wide network connection. Well, wait about that. Can't really get a wide connection into my room. That'll be a very long cable. Yeah, I know, I suck. <laughs> what a shocker. There'll never be a day when I can just sit here and have a great connection. Never. Never in a million years I'm ever gonna do that. I think people forget that the scrambler thing knows where you are. Oh, oh I was gonna say, you wanna get fucked up by the MG42? Yeah, that didn't really work out, did it? Anybody wanna come to me like his bloody ABC3? Oh my god. Oh, MP40? With a gold camo? Yeah, what the fuck is this? This absolutely sucks with a, only a minute or so on the fucking game. Oh, fucking hell. Oh. You're, you're kidding me. That's the gameplay right there. Oh, boy. Yeah, another kill. Yeah, it's not like I'm getting a lot of kills when you think about it. Alright, this sucks. Can't even get... Oh, fuck me. This is going to be the curse. Like what? Make the freaking bloody thumbnail like a stupid one-bar image. The curse of being Australian. Yeah, he definitely did look properly. <laughs> wow, that was a great game. I'll give a clap for that. Wow. Oh, not again. Hey, Call of Duty, can you fucking hurry up, man? You know what? That's good enough for me. Well, everybody, that is going to be the video for today. I'm sorry if the video is a little bit more shorter than my other videos that I've uploaded on this channel. But it is getting really hard now to go back to the older COD games on console if you live in Australia or New Zealand. Because not a lot of people don't really play the old CODs anymore. Because they always release a new COD every year. So it does get quite hard to go back to the old COD games and try and find a match properly. Because everybody's playing Modern Warfare 2, 3, I don't know, freaking Fortnite or some shit. I'll try my best to find matches for all of you because I want to make the content of everybody. I still found a match on World War 2, but I didn't really go to plan. But I tried my best, so hopefully it's gonna be okay. But anyways, if you're looking into buying World War 2, I mean it's sort of worth it. If you're just gonna just play the zombies or the campaign, sure, why not? But if you're just gonna be strictly playing the multiplayer, it's not worth it to be honest. Even though the game is much more better now, I would just say, nah, just save it for Black Ops 6, basically. And that's really it what I've got to say about World War 2. I might come back to this game next year, I have no idea. But before I end this video off, everybody, make sure you subscribe because we're on the road to two and a half thousand subscribers and i wanted to say thank you all for 2200 plus subscribers because man the love and support on this channel has been absolutely amazing and honestly everybody i cannot wait to show all of you my black ops 6 content that i've got planned i'm also on a break as well so expect more content when black ops 6 is out and yeah that's really it everybody well besides that everybody i hope you guys have a wonderful day and night thank you so much for watching and hey if you want to share this video like this video do whatever you want i don't care well besides that everybody i'll see you guys guys on Black Ops 6. <laughs>